Today, James Comey revealed his skills as an inside Washington operator with an extraordinary talent for protecting his flanks. The fired FBI director testified that he arranged the back-channel disclosure to the public of his one-on-one -on -one conversations with President Trump about the investigation into Michael Flynn. On Thursday, May 11th, two days after Comey was fired, the New York Times published an account of Comey's January dinner with President Trump and whether the topic of loyalty came up. The next day, the president tweeted, quote, James Comey better hope that there are no tapes of our conversations before he starts leaking to the press. Comey testified the threatening tweet prompted him to take action. I woke up in the middle of the night on Monday night, because it didn't dawn on me originally, that there might be corroboration for our conversation. There might be a tape. And my judgment was I needed to get that out into the public square. And so I asked a friend of mine to share the content of the memo with a reporter. In a remarkable admission, Comey revealed he did it to impact the investigation he was no longer in charge of. I asked him to because I thought that might prompt the appointment of a special counsel. The fired FBI director seemingly engineering a special counsel investigation into whether the White House obstructed justice. I've never seen that from anyone in the government or who has been fired from the government. It is an extraordinary measure which I think reflects Jim Comey's lack of trust of the president and the Justice Department apparatus to do the right thing. And it's part of a roadmap James Comey has laid out in this case, leaving a trail of documents and witnesses for investigators. First, he wrote memos to himself to detail his private conversations with the president. I was honestly concerned that he might lie about the nature of our meeting, and so I thought it really important to document. And important to provide details. His written testimony describing his January dinner with the president, saying they were, quote, seated at a small oval table in the center of the green room. Two Navy stewards waited on us. In another description of a February Oval Office meeting, Comey details exactly who sat in a semicircle of chairs and says, quote, as the participants started to leave the Oval Office, the Attorney General lingered by my chair, but the President thanked him and said he wanted to speak only with me. I think he provides a road map to others on here, other people who may be able to corroborate certain instances from my narrative, and here are other people that you might want to talk to. The White House quickly brushed back on Comey's accounts. Spokeswoman Sarah Huckabee Sanders declaring the president is, quote, not a liar. And Mr. Trump's outside counsel, Mark Kasowitz, refuting Comey's account that the president demanded loyalty in one meeting. Kasowitz also said Comey's leaking of his memos of his meetings with the president were, quote, unauthorized disclosures of privileged conversations.